Hi everybody, it's Deborah. Thanks for checking out my channel and reviewing my videos. If you haven't subscribed, please do so down below. Let's get into what my weekly Friday favorites are. And I do have one item that I'm not real crazy about, but we'll talk about it at the end. So every night I have a routine about taking my makeup off, coconut oil all over my face. And then I've been using these simple cleansing wipes. This is in um, for sensitive skin. I do like these. No fragrance. They're very soft and they remove all the coconut oil and the dissolved makeup with ease and it leaves my skin feeling clean. That's all I can ask for. So I really do like them. I like the simple line. So if you haven't tried it, it seems to be a great line and I love that it has no fragrance to it. Uh, lip products that I've been reaching for this week. If you haven't tried the Jordana and these are called the Twist and Shine. They're like big fat crayons, pencil, and you, they are wonderful. I've swatched them on my hand so you can kind of get an idea. It's a lip stain, goes on easily, and it leaves the color behind. So if the shine starts wearing off, just put a little gloss over the top. But these really do last a long time and they're in very pretty colors and they're so affordable. Get mine at Walgreens. Um, another, let's go with a couple more lip products. If you haven't tried the Baby Lips Dr. Rescue, I think they're well worth a try. Going into the cooler months, you know, lips can get very dehydrated and chapped pretty easily. And I like these. They have a little bit of color to them, so it's kind of nice when you don't want to wear lipstick. This is Pink, Pink Me Up and Soothing Sorbet. Very pretty, very light, sheer coverage. Now, they really seem to hydrate my lips. If you don't like menthol smell or taste, you're not going to like these. But if you don't mind a menthol taste or smell, because it kind of is refreshing, I think. This is just my opinion. You, These are worth giving a try, and it can help you out through the colder months. Another lip balm that I've really been liking, and it is the Simply line. I bought this at Walgreens there again. They were, I think... I don't know, they were very inexpensive. This has a nice, this one's lemon, a nice fragrance to it. It goes on very easily. It's very smooth, very hydrating, no color. So if you're looking for something that is no color, this is perfect, this whole line. So love those. A couple of powders I've been reaching for this week, Physician's Formula. This is a Cover Tox 10, and it says it's like a wrinkle therapy powder. I don't know what that means, but it goes on very, this is in medium translucent, goes on very smooth, very easily, and just kind of takes down the shine and gives you a nice finish on your face. Do like it. The other physician's formula that I really like, this is their baked bronzer, and this one's in, why do I always have so many problems opening these things up? This one is in, what, bronze tan, baked tan, sorry, baked tan. Very nice bronzer. It looks like it has little gold veins through it. Um, find a finger that doesn't have something. It's just a nice, warm tan to give your face a nice finish glow without adding a lot of shine or anything like that. It's just, it goes on very nice, very smooth. I really do like it. I, I'm really pleasantly happy with it. Physician's formula again. No, this is not a physician's formula review, but let's go back to those eye pencils. Part of the shimmer strips, you know, three, three in a package. You know, they go on so easily and they, you have control. They go exactly where you want them to. They're nice and soft, but not too soft to where they start smearing and smudging. They, and they come off so easily so to me this is a real hit and they wear all day and I really like that so right now my eyes are still watering so bad with allergies and yet I can keep my eyeliner on with these things a couple of blushes that I've been really liking this week and they're both by the balm so if you haven't tried them they're they're a great line the in stains got kind of kind of stains your your cheeks beautiful color this is hound's tooth Pretty nice, warm pink, beautiful for 
the fall or any time is what I'm wearing today. And the other one I really like is Down Boy. I love these names. How can you not like them? Beautiful pink. Very pretty. Very soft. Goes on. You can blend it out really easy. Those are the two I've been reaching for pretty much all week. Um, nail polish. Morgan Taylor. If you haven't tried it, it's a new to the market. It was named for the daughters of the two founders of the Jellish line. They have some beautiful colors. It's just now coming to market. I called them to find out where you can purchase it right now. It's just in Cosmoprof and a couple other like beauty supplies. But they are working on a couple of contracts to go retail. They go on creamy. They're really nice. I love this one. This is dress code. It's a beautiful dove gray, and depending on what you're wearing, it kind of picks up the undertones and kind of just really works well with purples and blues and everything. This one is met my match and is actually what I've got on today. Really nice. This one, I will tell you, seemed to last longer. This one just seems to chip a little bit more. I don't know why, so I'm going to have to experiment with that a little bit. But I really do like these. Very nice. Now, the final thing that I, I'm not real crazy about, but I'm going to give it a chance. Um, I, I don't know why I try different things when I think, when something already works for me, like taking my makeup off at night. But I thought, okay, I'm going to try something different a little bit. And this is by the Studio Beauty by Walgreens. This is their oil-free eye makeup remover. It takes the makeup off. Yeah, there's no doubt about that. So if you please don't get me wrong. I just don't like the feeling that it leaves on my skin because I feel kind of like a little bit oily, even though it's oil free. There's just something that's not working right. So I'm going to have to experiment with it a little bit more. But my first and second impression of it is I'm not real crazy about it. You do have to shake it up. Maybe I haven't, you know, didn't shake enough before I used it. But I'm going to try it again tonight, so hopefully it'll work better. And somebody must like it because they're manufacturing it. It's just right now it hasn't worked for me. So so it's kind of a no way, but a possible okay. So that's it for my Friday favorites. I wish you all a great day. And if there's anything that you would like for me to do videos on, please leave your comments down below because I always respond well to positive comments. I am going to be working on some videos for different blushes that I have. I have so many, so I'm going to have to figure out how I'm going to segment them out so that the videos will not be an hour long. So I wish you all a great day and until the next video. Bye.